Okay guys, we're gonna start with the next lesson in HTML and I am using Notepad++ because when we do HTML coding, we are gonna be doing it with a text editor. So the first thing to do is to open up Notepad++, get a nice clean document open over there and we start off with our first Chevron bracket, okay? I call that a chevron bracket. I think that's what it's called. So when I say chevron bracket, that's what I mean. All right, so let's start off with the word doc type. Okay, HTML chevron bracket. This is basically telling the web browser, you know what, the document you're about to open and look through and render on the screen is an HTML document. So that's why we put doc type HTML. So that's the first thing, any HTML document should have this at the top. Now we start with the next thing. And now what we're using now are called tags, all right? Tags. So the first tag is HTML. There it is there, HTML. And I'm gonna just create a few empty lines over there. And I'm going to then go forward slash HTML. So what have I just done? Well, I have opened up the HTML tag. Okay, I've started the HTML tag and I have then closed it at the end. So in HTML, in web pages, when you open a tag, you close the tag. Open a tag, close a tag. Open a tag, close a tag. All right, so when we open something, we close it. There are some tags which do not need to be closed. We'll get onto those later. But for now, when you open a tag, you close that tag as well. You'll see this come together in a minute. I'm gonna leave some lines open and spaces just so you can see what we're doing. So there's the first part, HTML, and then right at the bottom, close HTML. The next tag that we have here is going to be the head tag, okay, for the header of the page. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. And I'm going to close the head tag as well. Open a tag, close a tag, there we go, great. And then here, I'm going to just tap across very quickly and I'm going to write title, close title. Now, what have I just done with this section? Okay, that section is for the web browser as well. So when I want to put things like the, the text that goes in the tab in your browser, you know you've got tabs so that when you open up windows in web browsers, it's got a little tab with some text in. This is where the text goes. If I bookmark or favorite a page, the text that I type in here is gonna be the text that's gonna be for the bookmark. Also, if, I'm got, uh, if I have various scripts and various things running or analytics or tracking things, cookies, etc., all running in the background, they're going to go inside this header section. So we don't see on the page what is in the header section, okay? This is still for the browser. And you know what? We're going to type in a title and I'm gonna call it my website. That's so, so original. My website, all right. And uh, let's move on. Before we save this, I'm gonna do the final tag and that is called the body. The body tag, oh my, my Chevron brackets are going weird. There we go, the body tag. So here you can see I have opened the body tag over there and I've closed the body tag over there. Now I have created a lot of spacing here. Technically you don't have to do this, but I find if you do create space between all of your rows and all of your tags, it's just easier to read, easier to make sense of what's going on. So the last step is to save this document now as an HTML document because at the moment it's nothing. It's not any particular type. If we just save it right away, it's gonna be text, which is not gonna help us. It needs to be an HTML document. So we go file, save as, and you know what? In my web uh, page that I am, sorry, not my web page, my folder that I'm in, I'm going to type in the file name as index. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make it lowercase as well. And save as type, I'm gonna change that to HTML. There it is over there, hypertext markup language. I mean, you could just type .html at the end of it. I mean, that's fine, but make sure that the save as type is set to hypertext markup language and it's index.html. Let's save that now, okay. And as you can see, we suddenly have a blue text everywhere, okay. And when I click on a tag, 
you'll notice that it selects the opening and closing part of the tag. Check that. All right, so this is where you should be in Notepad++ by the end of this video. And uh, we'll carry on in the next video, adding some content and seeing what else happens to this page. Before we close the, this lesson, I just want to show you what will this look like in a web browser. Okay, so I'm going to go and open up my web window. Here it is here. That's the page I just created, index.html. I'm going to double click on that. It's going to open up in my web browser. Have a look. So double click. It opens up in the web browser. As you can see, there's no content on this page. It's empty because we haven't given it any content yet. But the header, do you remember that header section, the title? There it is there. There it is there. My website sitting over there in the tab. All right, I'll switch again back to Notepad++. There it is there. Switch back to the browser. There it is there. Okay.